Hello, crafty friends. Welcome back. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. In today's video, I'm going to be playing with the latest card kit from Simon Says Stamp. This one is for April and it's called Poppy Perfection. I'll show you what's inside the kit before I get into my card projects. I don't buy every single kit that they come out with, but I had to get this one because I love poppies. They're one of my favorite flowers. And then for the projects, we're going to be doing some fun techniques. So here is a zipper pouch. This is a little mini pouch. I love these. And it comes with some colored pencils and some tweezers. You always get a lollipop. And then these sequins are so pretty. There's multiple sizes in this little pack. And then this is something fun. It's acetate sheets from Tim Holtz. Here's a $5 off coupon on your next purchase. And then you get two envelopes, an A2 sized envelope and a mini slim line. You also get some foam adhesive strips. I use these a lot on my cards. So nice to have in your stash. And then some gorgeous pattern paper. And then here is the stamp set called Poppy Perfection. The sentiments are so pretty as well. And there's sentiments for multiple occasions. I believe you can buy the coordinating dies, but they don't come with the kit. Okay, here is a clear storage envelope. I like to use these for my pattern paper scraps. And then here is the example page, and it also tells you everything that's included in the kit. And then you get three sheets of cardstock. The colors are lipstick red, slate, and Nina Solar White, 110 pound. Let's get into the card projects now. For card number one, I'm going to be doing one of my favorite techniques, which is stamping on craft cardstock. I'm using some luscious Stonehenge cardstock for this. I love their craft. It's perfect for colored pencils because it just has a very fine texture to it that are great for colored pencils. I'm trying to decide which of all of the poppy stamps to use, but I end up choosing the largest stamp set. This one here that kind of curves around the corner. I'll gently peel this off the acetate. And then I'll place this at the side of the paper. I'll stamp it out with some VersaFine Onyx Black ink. This ink is great for colored pencils or watercolors. And I'm going to leave the stamp on the door of my Mini Misty so I can stamp it out again once I'm done with my coloring. So I will use the colored pencils that came with the kit. I was curious to try these out. I am kind of a colored pencil snob. I like my favorites that I already have in my stash, but of course I had to give these a try. I'll be using a red colored pencil and an orange. And I do bring in the pink one as well. But I just wanted to see what this looks like on the craft cardstock before I started on my project but it's a pretty orange. It's perfect for these orangey red poppies. I'm putting most of the color at the base of each petal and then just kind of fading out as I go up the petal. I won't cover the whole petal. I do like some of the craft card stock to show through. Let's try the orange one next. They both look really pretty to color in these flowers. So I'm going to use both of them. And these pencils work really well on this nice colored pencil paper. This is a great little set for putting in the pouch that came in the kit and taking them on the go. I'm going to be putting down a few layers. There aren't a lot of dark reds and light reds and different options in this set. I'm just doing the best I can with what I have. I do bring in a dark brown colored pencil from one of my other sets to color in the center of the larger poppy. I'll do most of my coloring off camera, but I just wanted to show you a little bit of the coloring. There are two greens in this set, a light and a dark, so that was nice to do color in the stems and the leaves with. And then after I finish in my coloring, I'm going to bring in the light blue and the dark blue and just go around the flowers. This will make them pop a little bit more and highlight them. It's a fun technique to do. 
Here are my flowers, all colored in and ready to put on the front of a card. I'll stamp out the sentiment next. I'm going to use the one that says, Happy Thoughts. And I'll stamp this onto a piece of black cardstock and heat emboss it with some white embossing powder. I'm slightly rocking the stamp set just to make sure I get good coverage. And it's stamped out very nicely. Now I can pour over the white embossing powder. I'll heat up my heat tool and then melt the sentiment. Once this has cooled, I'll Use the tissue just to wipe off the anti-static powder and fussy cut this out. Okay, here it is, all ready to go. I love the white embossing on the black cardstock. It looks so sharp. I'm using some Spellbinders tape runner to attach these panels together. I'll put this piece of pattern paper onto a white card base first. And then this is the lipstick red cardstock from the kit. There will be just a sliver of a matting around this panel. I die cut my main panel using a Spellbinders Postage Edge rectangle die. I'll pop up the sentiment using a foam strip that came in the kit. And then I put this down, but I decide to peel it back up so I can stamp out another sentiment. Once I decide where I want to put it, I'll pop this panel back in my mini Misty and then stamp out the sentiment that says sending. I had to move the happy thought sentiments out of the way so I could stamp this right on the panel with some black ink. Now I just have to reattach this and it kind of pulled up some of the colored pencil, so I'm going to add a little bit of glue over it so it's nice and sticky. And then put that back down on the card. I'm going to glue on a few of the sequins around the sentiment. And then here is a close-up look at the finished card. It really helped to restamp it once I had finished my colored pencil work because these pencils really dulled the inked lines. Sometimes I forget to keep the stamp on the door of my mini Misty, but fortunately this time I did. On card number two, I'm going to stamp out a few of the single poppies onto a piece of barely peach cardstock. This is from my stash, it's from Spellbinders. And I'm not going to color these in this time. They're so gorgeous. You don't even need to color them in if you don't want to. For the color on this card, I'm going to use one of the beautiful acetate sheets. So I'm putting down a piece of terracotta cardstock first, and then another piece of barely peach. And then for this cute acetate sheet, I'm just putting glue behind the colorful polka dots. That way you won't really see the glue. From behind the acetate. I'll center this on the barely peach cardstock. This is a super simple and easy card. The sentiment I'm going to stamp out on a piece of fruit punch cardstock. All of my cardstock, or I should say most of my cardstock, comes from Spellbinders. I love their gorgeous cardstocks. They're nice heavyweight cardstocks. And then on a piece of barely peach cardstock, I'm stamping out another sentiment that says sending, and this is going to say sending lots of thanks. Off camera, I tied a piece of burlap twine around the flower and put a bow on it. And I also used some of the foam strips behind this. So this sentiment I also popped up. Then I can just flip it over and cut off the excess. And that's all I'm doing to this card. It's so shiny with the acetate as is and colorful. But here it is all done. Sometimes it's fun adding color to the background instead of your actual images. The leftover flowers I glued on the inside. For card number three, I'm going to do a little bit of Copic marker coloring. So I'm stamping these out with some Copic friendly ink. This is 
Extreme Black Ink from My Favorite Things. Although Spellbinders has a very similar ink, and it is just called Intense Black Ink. I protected my sentiment with a piece of masking paper so that I could stamp one of the leaves next to the poppy. And this little panel is ready to go. I cut it out with a wonky stitch rectangle die. I'm using another panel of the lipstick red, as well as some brown Distress Oxide ink. I'm blending that on just two of the edges. This will just help it pop a little more from the beautiful but very busy poppy pattern paper that I'm going to put behind it. Okay, so let's put this card together. I'll attach this pattern paper onto a piece of the slate cardstock. And then for the lipstick red panel, and this I'm going to kind of put up at the top left corner. And then my main panel will be at the bottom right corner. I'm going to put one of the sequins right in the center of the poppy. I thought that looked really pretty there, added some nice shimmer. And then I'll add two more around the panel as well. And here is a close-up look at the finished card. The white cardstock I used is called Express It, and I've been loving that lately for my Copic markers. On card number four, I'm going to be doing a little bit of stamping on one of the acetate overlays that came in the kit. So I'm using some Stays On ink. This is fabulous ink for stamping on acetate. If you were to stamp with regular ink on the acetate, it would be very pale. This makes it nice and dark and thick looking. So I did stamp this out twice. I'll allow that to dry, and then I'm going to clean off my stamp right away with some Stays On ink cleaner. The Stays On ink is so thick and sticky that you'll want to use the Stays On ink cleaner to clean it off. But the Stays On ink is really fun to play with, and it does come in multiple colors. I also have it in red, but the color that I use the most is the black. I've had this in my stash for ages, and I recently picked up a reinker for it. I'm stamping out one of the buds and one of the leaves next to the poppy. And then this panel is ready to color in. Let me hold this over the white mouse pad. <laughs> there we go, so you can see it a little better. Okay, so I flipped this acetate onto its back so I can do some coloring. Now the alcohol inks are going to go down a little more pale than what they will on paper. But that's all right, it just looks stunning once you're done. So again, this is the back side of the acetate. I'm going to be using a light green first. Sorry, my head kind of gets in the camera sh shot there. And then I'm starting with a light red. I'm just going over the whole poppy with this. And then I'm going to build up the color. So we have a medium red. And then I come in with a really dark red. It doesn't blend really well on the acetate, but that's all right. It just looks so pretty once you're done. Okay, I'm going to bring a dark green now just to add some dimension to the greenery. And here is the panel all done. I'm going to set it off the side to dry for a minute. I'm using another piece of pattern paper that I cut down to five and a half by four and a quarter. And then I'm going to attach the acetate just using little dots of glue where I'm going to put some sequins. The sequins will hide the dots very nicely. And then I'll glue this at the top of the cardstock or the pattern paper. I think this acetate looks so cute on this kind of striped grid looking pattern paper. And now for the sequins, and I'm just putting the dab of glue where I put the glue on the back of the acetate to hide it. I'll put a large sequin in the center and then two at either side of the poppy. Sorry, my head's in the way <laughs> again there. It's kind of hard to see. So if you were just to glue it randomly, I think you'd just be fine. You won't be able to see it too much. The sentiment, again, I popped up with some of the foam strips from the kit. I'll attach this below the acetate circle. It's just going to say it's your day. 
Here is a close-up look at card number four, and it's so shiny with the acetate. It's so much fun to try. If you've never tried this technique, I encourage you to give it a try. It's really easy and fast coloring, and it gives such a beautiful result. For card number five, I'm going to be stamping on a piece of pattern paper. I love this technique, but this time I'm going to be using my Prismacolor pencils. So coloring on pattern paper is really fun because the pattern, of course, provides you with a nice base layer as you start to color. I'll pull out some reds and some greens, and then I'll start in on my coloring. I'm putting down my lightest red first, and I'm not taking the color all the way to the edges of the petal because I want some of this beautiful pink pattern paper to show through. And again, I'm just going to show some of the coloring for the sake of time, but I think you understand what I'm getting at here. And then once I've put down my lightest layer, I'm going to come in with a medium red, just add a little bit of shading and dimension to these flowers. I'm mostly putting the color at the base of the petals and where they overlap. And then I come in with a really dark red. I haven't played with my Prismacolors for a while, so it was really fun to pull those out. I'm going to restamp this to freshen up the lines. And now I'm going to pull out one of the acetate sheets. You get so many in this kit, they're so fun. But I liked this with the ferns and the text block on it. And I'm going to stamp kind of off the edge. So I'll stamp on the edge of this acetate. And then I'm going to line it up on my panel that I colored in with the colored pencils. I will, of course, allow this to dry. Let me put my ink away. It comes with a little plastic overlay so it, your ink stays nice and fresh. Okay, I'll peel this off of the mouse pad and take the tape off. And then I'm going to add glue behind the ferns where you won't see it on the back of the acetate. And then I'm going to line it up with the poppies that I stamped out and colored in. And so you'll see the colored pencil work from behind the acetate. But it will add just a cute little multimedia texture to it. It's really fun. I cut it out with a rectangle die. So most of it's shiny acetate, but then you have a sliver on the right that's just the pattern paper. I'll glue this onto a black mat. And then this piece I'm going to glue onto another panel of the lipstick red. The sentiment, again, popping up with the foam strips. And it's just going to go kind of at the bottom on the left, and it's going to be a happy birthday card. Now I can attach it to a white card base. To embellish this card, I'm going to pull out some poppy red pearls from Spellbinders. At the Spellbinder shop, they carry a lot of different colors of pearls, and I love these because they have the adhesive on the back already. And it's just a fun look for your cards. And card number five is done. Let me show you a close-up look. Again, this is the April card kit from Simon Says Stamp, and it's called Poppy Perfection. I love Simon Says Stamp's card kits. They are so much fun to play with. I'll leave the links to the products that I use to create these five cards in the description box below. You can buy the stamp set and all of the products from this kit separately if you don't want to purchase the kit. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. I hope you have a wonderful crafty day and enjoy your week. Take care. Bye.